Today I'll show you something that not even all Hungarians realize exists in Hungary. Chinatown Budapest. Most Chinatowns in other cities are in the city center, but this one isn't because this one is not a first generation Chinatown. The original Chinatown in Budapest was elsewhere and this one um, was built specifically to house Chinese shops essentially. And now there are loads of restaurants here, which we'll look at in a moment. It's a lovely sunny afternoon. It's uh, Monday evening, five o'clock on the 1st of May today. And it's the sun in Hungary is already very strong still at this hour. So I'm gonna put my sunglasses glasses on and let's have a look around. So Chinese people started settling in Hungary in larger numbers in the 1990s and there is a relatively large Chinese community in Hungary by now. I think official numbers, official estimates range from about 10,000 to 20,000. The current official figure, I think, is around 10, 12,000. In this little Chinatown that we're visiting today, there is a Chinese supermarket. There is a medical center. Obviously, with it being Chinatown, there are lots of Chinese shops and uh, a lot of them are wholesale only, uh, but a lot of them you can just pop into and just buy one of whatever you want. And there are also lots of restaurants. Quite a few of the restaurants, I think, are closed now, not all of them, because we're here for something called the Chinatown Terrace, which is open all summer, and it's open every day from five o'clock until about 11 o'clock, I think. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Chinatown Terrace brings a lot of people to the area. Uh, there are already quite a few people um, over at the terrace. Um, we'll have a look at that in a moment, but let me just show you a few things in Chinatown. Let's have a look at some of the shop windows. Here's a typical shop window. Uh, I can't see if it's wholesale or not, but I'll show you when it's really obviously visible that it's wholesale. Oh no, the supermarket is actually closed because it's actually a bank holiday in Hungary. It's, um, it's Labor Day. I really wanted to go inside the supermarket and show, show it to you. It's pretty interesting. I've been in there a couple of times before. If you're interested in having a look inside the supermarket, let me know in the comments and I'll try to come back some other time. I had dumplings in this one recently. No, it wasn't that one, it was this one. Yeah, in this one, but we're going to eat at the street market today. <laughs> There's some durian fruit here, remnants of a durian fruit here. So apparently one of the reasons a lot of Chinese people came to places like Hungary is because it was a good business opportunity for them at the time and apparently there's no um, adequate pension in China so there's a lot of pressure on children to provide for their parents when they get old and so a lot of Chinese people came here to Hungary to, to make their fortune and it's not necessarily don't necessarily imagine people who were traders or had any commercial experience some people were doctors or highly educated people and uh, many of them set off with their own savings and the savings of their friends and families and some of them 
did make their fortune, but others didn't. And and I mean, I don't. I know this from a China expert that I spoke to recently. So uh, do let me know if you if you know otherwise. But apparently, a lot of people who didn't do well, and those people who say didn't do well with other people's money, they are now stuck here because they they feel ashamed to go back. And some of them might be some of them are struggling to make ends meet, but not the person who actually owns this Chinatown and the person who developed this Chinatown. Obviously, he's done amazingly well. He owns a lot of land. He became very wealthy. There's even a hotel here I forgot to mention earlier. That's the Milky Way Hotel. It really is a proper little Chinatown here. And this land, I think, used to be a flour mill, or at least parts of it definitely used to be a, a flour mill. And when it became disused, the guy who owns it just bought the whole plot and developed it and built all these buildings and now uh, is renting them out. Because this has been specifically developed um, to attract uh, businesses here, I think it really is a bit of a hub for the community because of the supermarket, because of the restaurants. All the people who work here, they, they have a social club they can go to, they socialize in this area after work. They have a temple, they have the medical center. We just went past the snooker club there. So really there's a lot of activity here. I was here a couple of months ago, it was still in the winter, and obviously it was a lot quieter then. Now there's a bit more of a buzz to it, definitely. Okay, so this is the medical center and they practice traditional Chinese medicine here. Uh, apparently a couple of years ago you could still totally see in, but now they've got sort of frosted glass, so you can't. But um, let's go and look at some other stuff. There's a feeling rain again. I've got one of those umbrellas. <laughs> Two even, actually. I bing or he bing, probably, or something completely different. I'm gonna get pancakes there in a minute. Here's a shop that's wholesale only and I know that because you can tell if a place is wholesale by the fact that there is a table and like a teapot and tea set. This negotiating table and the tea area is, is usually at the front, not always but usually at the front. This is, this is quite a sort of low-key one, I've seen slightly more grand ones or more nicely laid out ones but this is definitely wholesale only. Look at the sign. In this case you can also tell by the sign, not just the table, but in some cases there is no sign in Hungarian or in English. I'm sure there will be a sign in Chinese, but that's no good for me, I'm afraid. So what are they selling here? Leggings and underpants. Let's see if we can find a nicer negotiating table. So we're also looking for a church. Here is a sign for the church, so it can't be far. I've been there before, I mean, I've seen it from the outside before. So hopefully I'll be able to find it again. Ah, it's here, but they're doing renovations, so it looks a little bit different and the sign has been taken down. So maybe that's one of the reasons I couldn't find it so easily. I've got some scaffolding up and I'm doing some work to it. Basically it's up there. Here's another table for negotiations. And there's a calculator on it. Yeah, this is a nicer one, I don't know. Maybe. It's not tea, maybe tea and coffee, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if you can see it. But there's another table here. So as I was saying, the supermarket was closed because it's a bank holiday and so are the shops actually. It's a Monday but it's a bank holiday in Hungary so all these shops are closed today except for the food market. So let's go there now, let's get something to eat. I'm 
，你摸他一下。好。I want to get some of those pancakes. What should we get? Mako tofu. It looks like massive portions, though. So basically, I've just ordered one of these Chinese pancakes, um, a vegetarian one. And the person I ordered it from spoke English um, and a little bit, a lot of Hungarian and some English as well. So that was no problem. It, it seems to be one of the most popular stores. I think because they've had a write-up in one of the papers, at least I've read at least one, one article in which uh, they said that this store does particularly nice pancakes. And then I thought, okay, there's quite a long wait for that. They said maybe it's going to be an hour or so, even for us to get our pancakes. I thought, okay, I go somewhere less popular and I'll get something else. And so I went to that stall at the very end, which has a fantastic name. It's called Happy Time. And <laughs> I felt very sorry for them because there's no queue whatsoever. The whole time we've been here, I've not really seen anybody buying anything from them just because they're at the end of the, at the, of the row of these stools. They're just up on, the, on the margin or something, on the, on the outside edge of this whole area. And I just felt sorry for them. So I thought I was determined to buy something there. But I don't eat a lot of meat and I really don't fancy meat today. I really wanted to have something vegetarian and they only had two vegetarian dishes and it took a lot of input from Google Translate to get somewhere. It was quite a hilarious exchange. I wish I had filmed it, but anyway, in the end, I managed to order something. I don't know what it is, but I'm told it's vegetarian. Um, it looked like a sausage roll and the name in English said cold noodles. <laughs> so I have no idea what I've ordered. I guess we'll find out in a minute. But I still haven't managed to get a drink. It's really busy here today. Today is the official opening night. So I think that's why it's so busy and some of the stores are really 
well, not overwhelmed, but they've got a bit of a backlog, I think. So anyway, I'm gonna go and try to find a drink now because I'm really, really thirsty. Okay, so I managed to get some drinks and I think I got, I don't know what I got, I think I got bubble tea, which is something I've never had before. Let's have a look. I'm not sure, we'll find out. All I know, it's a passion fruit green tea tea, but I think it's a bit like a bubble tea. I don't think it's exactly a bubble tea, but I think there's going to be something at the bottom. I'm not sure. So let's try it. I was going to get this anyway, but just as I was queuing up, there was a girl next to me and um, I asked her what, sh what tea she'd got, what drink she'd got, and she actually chose this one as well. And she said, it was really good. And yeah, it is bubble tea, and I've never had bubble tea, never had bubble tea before, and I've just had a bubble, a tapioca bowl, I'm guessing. It was just like a grape popping in my mouth. It's all right. I have friends who absolutely love this, and I've never been, brave enough to try and it's just fine sweet drink So it's getting a bit chilly. I've got to put my coat on. Uh, what time is it? Um, we've been waiting for our food for quite a while now. It's uh, 20 past seven now. Um, but finally, we've got the first uh, thing. The first thing has arrived. And it's a, I'd call it a Chinese pancake. I don't know what, it's, what it is. I've never seen this before. It's gonna be my first time. It's piping hot. It's gonna be my first time. I'd call it a savory Chinese pancake. It's called a Bing, maybe. And I chose the original flavor. And basically they were like, it, they like made this giant crepe and uh, they put egg on it and um, some sauces and um, some vegetables. there's any cutlery available so I'm just gonna go for it maybe I shouldn't have opened it like that I can't pick it up it's so hot um oh it's pretty good it's spicy they asked me what level of spiciness I wanted and I said um, medium and if this is medium it is pretty spicy okay so basically we were wondering what happened to the second thing that we ordered it's been almost an hour and there's really long queues but as i was saying at this place there was absolutely no queue but our buzzer didn't go off so i just went back there and they were like oh it's been ready for ages but our buzzer didn't go off okay whatever <laughs> so we're gonna have cold noodles <laughs> but anyway it's that cold noodles but this is certainly not what was in the picture so this is not this is not what i thought i'd ordered like what i ordered in the picture it looked like a sausage roll but it was it said cold noodles so i guess it is really is cold noodles now because it's cold it's kind of lukewarm i mean it's very sweet they said it was vegetarian but I'm gonna have to take their word for it. It, it doesn't taste vegetarian. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm not vegetarian, but... I prefer the pancake to this. I definitely prefer the pancake. I would have the pancake again. Not sure about this one, but maybe I'm... 
not yet doing it justice because it's been standing on the counter for half an hour, I'm not sure. Um, but actually, whilst we were waiting, I did go and order something else as well. So we'll try a third thing in a minute. Okay, so the third thing we ordered is ready as well, and they're basically like like little dumplings. And they are beef. I know I was saying I don't want to eat meat today, but I wasn't really sure what to order, and I saw somebody else eating it, and they just look so cool. And these are little beef dumplings. They are really, really hot. It's really hard to pick pick it up actually. Oh, it's actually so hot I can't hold it so let me try it let me actually it's really 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 boiling hot I think it's just been deep fried I can't pick it up try it now it's good but then it is deep fried so I'd expect it to be good so I think this is the last um, dish we're trying today uh, I definitely come back on another day and maybe do a little bit more research or ask people what to order but I think this technique of seeing what everyone else is having and then asking people what that dish is and where they got it I think that's probably the way to go. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Chinatown Budapest and the opening evening of Chinatown Terrace and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!